flakes that you get tend to be a lot so this is an obsidian flake and they don't find a lot of obsidian on this site so that's kind of exciting and it's just like the other flakes from stone tools but it's made of volcanic glass and if you shine it up to the light it's very see-through okay so what we have here is a what we call a blade um, and it would have been used to scrape hides or to cut bones or anything you could use as a knife and if you look really closely you can tell that the blade has been used out on the edge um, and that's what we call use wear so on that margin you can tell by the all the small little notches on the edge that it was used by uh, the person So what we're looking at is um, a projectile point, because you can see it's been worked on both sides, so it makes it a biface. And it is, it's pretty much the full piece. You can see at the tip here, it's cracked a bit, so we're missing the tip of the piece. This is a river muzzle shell, and these are important because they can tell us about the environment at this time about the aridity, the precipitation through stable isotope analysis. They can also give us pretty good date range through radiocarbon dating methods. So this muller was found in lithostratigraphic unit 8, which we know as a beach sandy deposit, and it's around 7,000 years ago. This muller is um, part of an ungulate, probably a deer due to the size. And what we can get about this, other than the fact there were deer here around 7,000 years ago, is that you can measure the seasonality um, of the growth rings in the tooth. Um, you can also measure the carbon, uh, calcium carbonate, and get C4, C3 plant ratios that can tell you paleoclimatic um, events within the past. Here's a, st a stemmed point that we found in one of the screens while someone was skim shoveling. And you can see that it's stemmed because of this ear, what's called an ear on the yeah. side. Now, what the stemmed point used to look like was it was much longer, then they tried to rework it, and it might have broke, so they started to work it down again, and they might have gave up or thought it looked too short. We've just uncovered a fairly intact vertebra here, a very large piece, and now I'm going to work to see if I can uncover a bit more. More, more bone. And so you've got some of the uh, aspects of the transverse processes that you can see that broke off, and you also have the vertebral column. So this would have contained, you know, the spinal column nerve endings. And so it's most likely coming from a uh, elk or deer, potentially sheep. This is a lancelet projectile point. Uh, it's made out of Salmon River Greenstone, which is kind of rare for this area. And we found it in the fill level, uh, which was really a neat experience to find a point in the screen. You see this, and it's so unique to what we find around here. But that is a Salmon River Greenstone Lancelet.